Yeah, women hate their necklines, don't they? <laughs> yes, that's very traumatic. And I've taken good care of my skin. But the neck was always ignored. Yeah, I didn't know a whole lot you could do for neck. <laughs> I should have worn That's sunscreen on it when I was in high school. That would have been a good start. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing. I mean, like I was telling you, I asked around. Nobody had any really, okay, this is what you want to do kind of suggestions. When you're plunking down money, you want to make sure it's going to work. Yeah, for sure. We're done. Good job. Thank, Thank you. you. I am really excited. Do a few motions of like smiling okay. and stuff like that. Okay. Just to kind of notice, you know, get that neckline a little bit more noticeable. Uh, I did a couple things. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just asked Anissa to make some facial movements in her neck to show you those lines. What I'm doing right now is I'm creating a little porthole with a needle and I'm using a TSK 27 gauge one and a half inch cannula and I'm going right underneath the dermis right there very superficial towards uh, in, into the line itself. Do you notice this is hurting you at all? Mm -mm. No. What does it feel like? Mm, really not anything. Just mm -hmm. strange, but not painful at all. So I'm very superficial. I'm right underneath the skin. And as you can see, I'm sorry my finger's in the way, but you can see me injecting and you can see that little blep of product coming out. So I'm making another tunnel slightly higher or superior than the original tunnel I was in. And here I go again. I inject and I pull out. And now I'm gonna make another porthole right here. And I'm entering again right there. Very, very superficial right along that line. So I've used other fillers uh, besides the one I'm using right there. What I'm using today is called Restylane Refine. It's a very thin filler, it's a very cohesive filler. And you can see that blep, you can see that tunnel filling right before your eyes. And all you have to do afterwards is to pinch it a little bit Restylane Refine is the only filler that lays flat like that. I've tried other fillers in the past. I've tried regular Restylane, did do a very good job, was rather lumpy bumpy. I've tried Juvederm, again, rather lumpy bumpy. Probably the closest thing that worked well or decently was uh, Restylane Silk. But again, I just felt it was still a little bit too lumpy bumpy for my satisfaction. I've also tried Velour and Vabella. I think they're a little bit too hydrophilic in that area with a cannula. You run the risk of uh, having a little bit of water absorption and thereby Instead of a line, you may have a little worm. Uh, my favorite is Restylane Refine for these necklines. So as you can see with my technique, I'm actually not 
pushing that syringe much, I'm using my left hand to guide that cannula through, kind of tugging on the skin with my left hand as opposed to pushing with my right hand. So Janissa will be left with uh, a couple of portholes which will heal in a couple days. The redness that you see will dissipate uh, actually over the next 24 hours or so. She reported back to me that her necklines look amazing. And we'll show you a before and after picture of that neckline at the end of this video. Again, you've got a pinch and the wrestling refine lays down beautifully. I mean, you could do this with a needle, but I find that beautiful. I have much better control with a cannula in the placement. 95% uh, of my injections are with cannula, so I do a lot, a lot of cannulas. Obviously, with a needle, you're going to have more bruising as well. This is Dr. Phil Nguyen with Happy Clinic. Thank you again for joining us today to learn more about filling in the necklace lines. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep these videos coming. I've got to have some motivation uh, to do these videos. And the more comments and the more subscribes I get, the more I'm going to do these videos to help educate everyone. Have a great day. Bye.